Yeah, it's indeed what you said on acceleration. It's the car is need, so exactly. You need to to find a flow like a GT2 style. Yes. Bit, you know. Oh yeah. When you steer in a bit on acceleration, the car just wants to go somewhere yeah. away. I did not expect to be a car this unstable under acceleration. No. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring and welcome to a video that could have happened actually quite some times because over the last couple of months I've received numerous offers from people to let me drive their Tesla Model S Plaid uh, but some couldn't make it, some had uh, something else, another car got crashed, uh, I don't even know and one and only Sepp Vitel actually made it uh, he was actually here also on the opening weekend of TF and uh, he did the first laps with it. So probably if you're really into Teslas and you're searching for them ferociously on YouTube, can you look for something ferociously? Uh, you've probably seen this video already on the track. And now we're here at Destination Networking Track Day. Uh, as you can hear, the car is cooling itself down quite a lot. Yeah, because it did already two laps. Uh, so first Sepp did the driving because he said uh, I would like to show you what it does Not in terms of what it does, but how dangerous it can be. I'm like, yeah, right And then aha, uh -huh. and then I drove it and then aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, indeed So uh, it's not a fully stock car. We are running Cup 2's. Can Cup 2's come? Uh, no, for us. For us? No, no, this is for us. For us? Yeah, sure. Oh! Yeah. It's okay. for us, but it's 20 inch wheel. Okay. And the stock wheel is uh, 21. All right. So this is just, I change it for range reason. Okay. Down, downsizing the, yeah, become in 20, so uh, yeah. I, I save 60, 70 kilometers okay. on the road. So it's a forged wheel, so exactly the same that the, 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 the wheels uh, Tesla released in the track pack. Nice. But it's for us, so it's in stock dimension, so 265. Yeah. 295 uh -huh. uh, just with a uh, bigger sidewall of course because stock it's 35 yeah. so now it's 40 because it's yeah. 20 inch and uh, 35 on the rear instead so yeah so, yeah but it's the stock uh, tire this why in the video we see a lot yeah okay i get it now yeah. I, did, I didn't done uh, I, I thought it was cup 2 and i was under steering no. because of the weight no okay no, no, that makes not. sense that makes sense then uh, brake wise, uh, is it gyro disc or what were you running on that? So the brakes is the stock uh, caliper, so yeah. only two pistons on the front, uh, one on the rear, and it's uh, we, we just changed the the, the disc. So yeah. now it's mountain pass performance disc, 410 ah, okay. on the front, 400 on the rear, yeah. so for better uh, cooling. Let's say. So MPP it looks like very similar to the gyro disc that you exactly. have on the GT3. Yeah, they work yeah. For, for probably okay, okay, and, makes uh, sense. But the brake pads also, so of course, brake yeah. pads. Uh, it's Carbotech, it's okay. Pitain, but so it's nothing extreme. It's like. RS29, yeah, yeah. Like no, that's still good, good, yeah. And uh, different fluid, fluid yeah. important, yeah. yeah. Uh, mandatory. Course. Yeah, because we've seen already in US many cases where people end up with no brakes. We've seen it also on the stock Model S's or like B100s. Brakes are made of butter and it's horrible. Uh, so always I'm very happy that we had modified brakes here. Otherwise it would just, yeah, it wouldn't go anywhere. Now you will see on the lap for the rest any other mods or it's like that's no, no, it. No, no, that's it. Uh, even unfortunately, brake line is the stock brake line. Yeah. There's no aftermarket brake line. All right. Line, so it's the rubber brake line. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, that's it. And the covering because this is uh, like an harder gray. So normally yeah. it's a uh, midnight gray, like Ferrari. Yeah. So I did the covering, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. The only thing I would say you will see also on the lap itself is that the car needs different seats. I'm not asking Elon to put bucket seats in there, but something with more support would be nice for these kinds of cars. Because I'm sure even probably on the road is maybe not the most supportive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and uh, suspension is really, really soft for what it is. It's I understand it's a Grand Tourer and what kind of not, but uh, it's too soft. Like, and uh, dangerously soft, especially like with this power that you get, you get lots of lift. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it, like you said, it's a G-force boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's hop in. Maybe you can walk us through the modes that we were using because we could not, uh, we were not recording. How does this work? Oh, okay, like that. I had it correct. My daily car. So of course it has already, I think, sixteen or seventeen thousand. Oh 16, really? 000. How long have you had it? Uh, I get it in December, end of December. It was one of the first okay. in Europe. But uh, yeah, so um, so just of course from inside it's a very big screen. Of course, so. Mm -hmm. uh, this every people know seen the video but so you can just move the screen so from the middle to the right or to the passenger or to the driver side so in general I live here yeah, in center or left mm -hmm. 
Uh, um, and after, so of course, uh, yeah, the different mode is like, of course, um, a little bit like the Model 3 in terms of uh, menu. Uh, even the, 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 the track mode, huh? so this is maybe the things that's interesting for us. Um, so the track mode, now we have the screen here, so with the speed we up here, here. Mm -hmm. so the, the battery pack temperature, the tire pressure, uh, yeah, the, 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 the power range, and uh, so of course, uh, same as the Model 3, we can adjust. So the, the, the front to rear, so now yeah. what we drove was 50-50, yeah. we were on zero, even zero on zero pressure. we still have We some, have uh, enough, yeah, because the car you have so much weight, so it's actually like yeah. a very good mechanical grip. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, no, it was, it was yeah. very good. And we also, this is my recommendation, so to use a little bit of regen, of course, first to just... Uh, yeah, to be more gently with the brakes, but mm -hmm. also, yeah, I, 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 I check the, it, yeah, the 60%, like, feel like a little bit like an engine. Yeah, uh, engine, wheel, yeah. And, uh, and so, so it's better, I think, to, to, to work with the car. So 60% is, is just something good, but zero is definitely, yeah, it feels really dangerous because you feel, you see the power not, yeah. and you feel like you have a weight, dead weight, you know, and it's, yeah. uh, so it's not good feeling. So I think, yeah, this, this mode for, let's say, I don't know, yeah, for, yeah. for Nürburgring or different track, you can, uh, you can use it. Okay. And uh, so of course, so when you are in track mode, you only have the plane mode, which is the 1000 horsepower mm -hmm. uh, mode. Uh, you cannot change. So sport mode is only 750 horsepower and comfort is something like 300, like one motor, two motors, three mm. motors who are working. But so when you are in plane mode, you cannot, you, uh, track mode, you only have the plane. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is a shame because Sometimes when it's raining, it's better we can just reduce, reduce the, the power. Yeah. And uh, so this is the, also the direction. So, the, so now we were in sport, so the stiffest, the mm -hmm. standard comfort. And uh, suspension. So suspension, uh, we, are, uh, we can select low uh, or medium. Okay. During uh, so the height, not the, not, yeah, not the, the height, stiffness. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. The stiffness is always at the, the maximum. Okay when you are in track mode, so which is sport. Uh, but uh, you can eventually choose medium height or uh, low. And mm -hmm. we were on the lap on low, of course. Okay. And you see it's not touching anything. No, it's, the it's, it's quite, this, so. yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite good. Uh, it, there is no spring or something. I mean, it's stock it's spring, etc. It's air, of course. And yeah. some people just put some lower uh, spring. Mm -hmm. But this car is just a completely stock one uh, about, about it. So, nice. Voilà. So, so this is the, yeah, the, the different mode. And, um, and yeah, after the thing with steering wheel, which is, yeah, you experienced it, but I must say I was impressed because you did it very well. Okay. <laughs> so, because directly on the North Life, a uh, new car, 1000 horsepower, and this steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, so honestly, I was a bit uh, scared. I was here <laughs> for sensation, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was, but, it was uh, quite okay. You, you did it very well. Thank you. Because normally we needed some adaptation, but of course, yeah, on the track you are. Yeah. Only like this. But of course, it's in this case of a bad moment. Yeah, yeah, have nothing here, have nothing to grab. Yeah. So, so, but for me, I, 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 I keep this one because I like it. You know that you are in a special car, you know, from yeah. the side. Yeah. This, this I like. So yeah. makes sense. Cool. Yeah, you, we had a bit of a cracked windscreen. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. This is this is something we can we can say which is very bad from Tesla because uh, you know I cracked this on the street. Huh? Just just. I was on autobahn and it's break and I, I call Tesla etc so it's a, you must order it to Tesla because you have the place for the camera etc you need to recalibrate the camera so you need to do it by the Tesla painter and this is really a shame because I ordered I think the, the windscreen end of March you know beginning of April and we are in May now I still not have this and I can understand as we talked together uh, that there is some because world uh, catastrophe uh, some missing uh, parts but the windscreen it's something important. I mean, uh, a manufacturer must, when they deliver the car, they should normally get uh, the, the, the windscreen uh, as a replacement part, especially some people like me who drive a lot on mm -hmm. the street, and this can happen. So we can drive anyway. It was not so legal, I think, maybe, but uh, yeah. It was okay, so, yeah. it was okay. No, overall, uh, I mean, you will see on the a lap uh, the impressions, uh, how it was for me, and uh, like, fast stupid fast but like this one has modified brakes stock brakes would have been butter don't suspension quite soft seats yeah. they are actually comfortable but not in terms of side support this is really really missing um yeah it's not a track car it's uh and now after having experienced the way suspension handles 
I'm not sure if they did uh, the completely production car, if it was completely stock. <laughs> yeah, of course, and uh, we, we never know that, of course, for yeah. when recon manufacturer, they, every brand, of course, have their own uh, mixture, let's yes. say, when they do some, yeah. some re record. But uh, yeah, definitely, if it was a stock brake pad, I really not understand <laughs> how they can do one full lap of North Life because even on the road, I you had the, the alert of temperature after yeah. Yeah, three kilometers in the mountain like yeah. that. So, so yeah, that's a, a, a really important that some people, if they want to do one mm -hmm. lap, even one lap, yes, on the that they track, change the just, brakes. Just trying the brake pads at least and the liquid. Yeah, you can keep the stock disc. It's okay, but uh, well, at least you are in safety. You know, you are in security, and the track pack they will release on Tesla. It's. Uh, it's included. It's, uh, okay. yeah, it's better. It's a brake fluid. It's brake pad. It's a carbon ceramic disc, okay. which is basically the same we can find on the on the GT2 RS or mm -hmm. it's a 410 uh, big piston. Uh, well, yeah. But again, I don't know if it makes sense to 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 put this and track the car a lot because yeah. as you say. It is not it's a, not a, a track, track car. car. No, you can do one lap as I yeah. do. You know, you arrive here, you want to check the condition, mm -hmm. just to see if there is some new thing, etc. You, you just do your stuff. You do one, two, three laps if you want, but that's it. You yeah. cannot track it a complete day because no, for sure. you need to recharge, etc. So, yeah. so I, I still love it, but not, of course, to. I prefer my GT3, of course, to yeah, drive yeah. all day on the track. Of Makes course, sense. But, uh, this, this was just yeah. like a bit of fun exercise. Yeah. And I just want to add, it's uh, in terms of all the lap records and stuff. I have absolutely nothing against people doing lap records with not stock cars. Just put a disclaimer that something was modified. Then, of course, you don't have the production spec record. But the issue is, we've seen it in the US. Like, if a car can do a full lap of an Evergreen, it means it should be able to do anything. And then the customers go out on some other tracks and end up in the walls. Yeah. Because they say and think, and for a very good reason, like, well, why can I not do a small lap on my, I don't know, Laguna Seca or something, like, or Willow Springs, or I don't know where, uh, uh, they, if, if it can go a full lap of an Evergreen. The car is definitely was not stuck. And again, nothing wrong with that, but it puts people in danger because they believe that their car is capable yeah. of these things, which is not. Anyway, enough talking. Have a look how uh, Sepp and I did our laps. One more time, thank you so much. Thank you, it. a pleasure, and, uh, always. Next time, I don't know. <gasps> what about your charger? Uh, my charger? Ah, no, my Mustang, you want to say. <laughs> yeah, I still not um, want to put this on the track because I'm too scared to put oil everywhere. So, engine oil or like this. So, <laughs> it's more about the people who can yeah. sleep on my oil. So, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm not ready for it in my Mustang. But, I, uh, okay, yeah. I, I appreciate <laughs> it, but uh, maybe some other day. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Enjoy the laps. Honestly, every lap I did, I'm always scared. Really? Yeah. Of the brakes? Or no, no, no. The power? <laughs> Everything. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a launch control. Uh, yeah, why not? Not full, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good that I have a helmet on. Yeah. Wow. Ah, it's cold now, so I need to be careful. The first uh, few kilometers. Uh. Bucket seats. Yeah. Harness, all cage. Yes. <laughs>
not hide the weight. Uh, you have so much uh, inertia, you know? Yeah. No curb? <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's a four-wheel drive, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I take for you. <laughs> <laughs> weight of this thing? 2.2 ton. It's not horrible. I mean, it's of course not a CSL, but for an EV, it's not the end of the world. Oh, we have a friend. A Cayenne. Oh, <laughs> a can. <laughs> yeah. Good one to play with. <laughs> Tires fighting for their life. Yeah. My neck too. It's like I'm an LMP car with all the G forces. It's not the G forces. It's, it's like it's a G boat force. Yeah. Coasting to let the battery cool down, or no, no, because um, it's uh, too much. The bumping. Uh, no, no, it's too much uh, power. I mean, if you put full throttle, you the car is unbalanced. You know, okay. it's better to let like a flow, you know, to like this, because otherwise you, you yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not comfortable. You know, I get it. point usually model 3 would get overheated already yeah to way after shit yeah. but here it's actually quite okay no it's okay it's and there is no brake alert you know ah, yeah. as on the model 3 with the beep 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 yeah 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 nice line close to the curb Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, three point one bar. So yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> There's a GT3.
jump? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stock brake. Yeah, you're after done. After three kilometers, it's finished. Now you have still a good pedal. Yeah, yeah. And this is mandatory. At least the liquid and the, the brake pad. Yeah, for sure. Now, when I drove, like, was it B100D or something? Yeah. It was also like gone by Brunchen. Getting a bit of rain now. Okay. But you, yeah, you still have, uh, and after, yeah, a few, uh, few minutes, it's uh, the cooling is uh, coming. But, uh, <sighs> yeah. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, bucket seats, please. <laughs> That's the thing that I always say about Teslas. Technology is quite often impressive, except for the brakes that yeah. you don't need to change. And the interior is, well, it's definitely better than... Yeah, yes, it's, but it's, it's still, still not full premium car, but uh, it's better than Model 3, of course. No, no, for sure. But, um, but it's like, you know, when you're putting like 1100 or what is it, like yeah, 1000 something horsepower, yeah, sure. do supportive mods, like seats, make it comfortable. But yeah, it's quite interesting. So, we drop the pressures? Yeah. Uh, I try on the other parking, maybe. You can park here, why not? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's your side. <laughs> All right. The pressure so you see, yeah, you, you just drive. Yes. The problem also is, of course, if you need to contest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you have a... It can happen, but you will feel the reflex. Yes. Of course. Yeah, but yeah. well, it's. Uh, but I will. Um, you Drop see, the pressures a bit. I think I will go two point. Uh, normally it's two point eight yeah. everywhere, so I put two point eight for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. fine. That's good. Fifty-three percent state of charge. I don't remember how much we started on the Sabs lap. I don't know. Alors, on y va. C'est parti. I'm even more scared now. <laughs> um, attends, I need to go on the so track mode for you. Alors, do you want to change some stuff? On the lap we did, it's exactly that. So no traction control, 60% of regen, 50-50. Okay. Do you want to change something or? Regen, I usually like on zero, but I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's too heavy and, okay. and um, I mean, you need a little bit of um, engine braking, you know, sometimes. Yeah, okay, I get because it. Because otherwise it's like a dead weight, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But honestly, 60 is... Then let it, let it be You'll like see this. it's like less than stock. Just what you must be careful, it's on the exit. Yeah. The car not oversteer, not understeer, but it, it's do like, I don't know. It, yeah, wants, yeah. She wants to fly it, you know, it's uh, yeah. just these things. So weird. <laughs> so now you have only 50%, so of course you have... That's my driver excuse. I don't know, maybe... 800? Eight, seven, between seven, 800, I think. I'm sure it's gonna be enough. <laughs> I've never been actually this, this intimidated. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> The weight is there. The weight is really there. What you said on acceleration, the so car is need, so exactly. You need to, to find a flow like a GT2 style, yes. Bit, you know, like we move a little bit before and 
Yes. Yeah, just to be in the flow and it works better. Yeah. bit on acceleration the car just wants to go somewhere away now I get it okay apart from the seats we also need shocks <laughs> Now. Yeah, yeah, no, I think uh, red, red and 40% of course you have maybe just five, six hundred, I mean, yeah, yeah. six hundred. Because now C is even getting away on the straights from us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm flat and it's... Ah, no, okay. Yeah. There is nothing, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> The problem is because I did also a supercharger before to come. So it was too hot. And of course the supercharger is super hot. Uh, yeah. You know because it's quick uh, temperature. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's okay. I got the experience with you what the car can do because you're more used to what it, how it drives anyway. What do you think of the brake? It's a weird feeling. Is it brake by wire? I don't know, but uh, of course the the, the the course is very big. Yeah, so of course it's uh, not. Um, yeah. The brake pressure is it's different, you know, it's but it's always the same. Remember that the rear is a single piston and on the front is double. Oh <laughs> so, nice. So of course it's uh, the brake calipers of course is not so yeah so so good. So, so right now I just have the disc and the brake pads. So. But to be honest, even now at like less power the car is more drivable. Yeah, yeah of course. It's even it's even more enjoyable. And that's to... a shame because we cannot uh, change the power mode in yeah. track mode. So I mean, you are always in plate mode, yeah. which is the most powerful. Yeah. But you also over it more, and yeah, and that's a shame because sometimes maybe on rain you can just put in sport mode. That would be better. Yeah. yeah. Almost nothing anymore. Uh, <laughs> awesome. uh, uh, uh. Yay! But you can still. Like a GT4 or so. Yeah. <laughs> and the steering is okay for you? Yeah, it, you're yeah. getting used to it, you know. It takes some time, but... Just wish you're fine. Uh, yeah. T13. Of course, it's a little bit more manual, but... Uh... Yeah, you do not want to go faster through there. <laughs> that was already unpleasant. Nothing. <laughs> How do I turn the indicator? Here we go. I would get you if I had more power. <laughs> This 
it have seat ventilation? Yeah, if you want. No, it, it is on already. No, oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. It's very nice. Sometimes if you are on the shuttle and on the brake, you have oh, yeah. a little alert. You know? Okay. You do it very well because me normally I left foot, but with this car I cannot because you must really do on off, otherwise it's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, appreciate the sound. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. At least there is that. Well, no, you know, I'm actually happy that we did it this way. Because there will be no way for me to drive it the way you did. And I would try to push it and then it would be like probably would be somewhere in the wall probably because on the straights I did not expect to be a car this unstable under acceleration. Yeah, yeah. That's the big yeah, thing. Yeah, because yeah, of course the car do like this. Yeah. So of course you have no like when it's full power you have like no no front. Yeah, when you turn in mm -hmm. the, the rear grips and all of a sudden you just it pulls like really the... the we really feel it at exit um, at the North Forst, you know, you, yeah. you, you, you push and it's like really the car goes on the curbs alone. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so are you planning to modify it more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. But um, yeah, of course, this this problem of of cooling is Heating, still, uh, yeah, but that's still here. yeah. No, like I said, like the, the the seats that would make it more kind of, and the shocks. I don't know. If, mm -hmm. I'm sure there is something suspended possible, but but for my case, maybe we will talk a bit later. But yes, you know, it's not making any sense because this is my daily. You know, of course. I bring kid at the school, uh, and uh, I mean, yeah, I just use the car as a daily so I don't want to go too much should I, mean, I put it there or should I yeah, just you can park, park up? Uh, just on left of the, the okay. road okay I'll okay. turn around and then I'll reverse it in there well you do it very well with the steering because for me I needed two or three days I'm not on the track on the street to adjust my biggest complaint is not even that it's like this but because it's too wide mm. it's too big yeah. Yeah. and um, it would be nice if there was a like a demultiplication or any, yeah. a mode that you are just like this. Yeah, because Model 3, I think, it is tighter. This is very light. Yeah. Because Model 3 is really like, it's as if you have no power steering. Yeah. But it's... And you know, also, you was on, on the mode. So, so same as the Model 3, you have the... Um, uh, so you was on the uh, stiffest yeah. position on okay. the steering. So you have also standard, which was I prefer. And, uh, enfin, I prefer. I don't know, it depends on the condition, yeah, yeah. but sport is more, more stiff and uh, comfort, of course, is super soft. Uh, but in track mode, anyway, you are always in, uh, in played mode. And nice. this sport, it's, uh, when it's full power, it's 700 HP. Comfort is like nothing, it's like 300. And played is 1000. And, yeah. and Dragster is also, yeah, make a little bit more, I mean, 40, 50 or power more. And, uh, yeah. Well. Cool. Oh, it makes the job, but um, it's, it's, a, it's a more serious car than, uh, than a it's, Model 3, yeah. but it's still not, of course, um, at the top. You know, yeah, but, yeah. Um, did you try already the, the Taycan? No, not US? yet. Okay. Not yet. Hopefully at some Good. point. Because also i seen some video where the Taycan uh, just over it also at uh, 
Yeah, X motor or mm. not full over overheating, but it's reduced in power. So of course, this is the problem of high rev yes. um, electric engine. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thanks to you. Well, it's fun. a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Mm -hmm.